people who love to ride roller coasters and get together for a convention? Well, I didn't believe it either until I went to Cincinnati. From all over the country, people with this strange hobby gathered at Kings Island to ride the roller coaster that is known amongst aficionados as the Beast. It does scare people. I've seen people faint, and one hour later, they're back on it. Some people go into the scientific uh, 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 research of why we ride the coasters, but mainly it's just to have fun. Some find fun in it. Others find romance. We're a husband and wife uh, roller coaster riding team. We grew up uh, riding roller coasters, and we love them, and uh, we still want to ride roller coasters. We won't be happy till we ride everyone in the world. Most ordinary people who survived the beast came off looking as though they had just gone through an IRS audit. But there were others who could see the educational value in the roller coaster. They teach kids an awful lot about the history of our country. The development of the parks was an early part of our history and our folklore. There were even poets among them. Family that rides together stays together. Uh, yeah! <laughs> Some ride it into the twilight zone. I actually moved to a building in Cliffside Park where Old Palisades Amusement Park used to have the old cyclone. And every night when I go to bed, I can still hear the ghost sounds of the screams of the people going over the bed. And some were so moved by the beast, they moved to Cincinnati just to be near it. And every afternoon after I get off of work, I come out here and ride the beast. And I've ridden it 106 times right now. Ordinarily, I wouldn't get on or in anything that doesn't stop when I push a pedal or when I say, hey, stop. And I especially don't like to get up in the air in a machine operated by somebody who stays on the ground. Hey, but I figured I'd give it a try. <laughs> 